That pile is bigger than I thought it was. All right, so I'm back after a hiatus of what? Um, five months? Six months? Six months? Um, anyways, I've got um, uh, my little Maltese Falcon here, 3D printed. Um, I want to do a bigger one, which is around here somewhere. I ran out. Of, I ran out of filament. Anyways, back over here. So I'm going to be doing a secret stash video today. I've got uh, probably going to do three of these uh, because, uh, as you can see from that pile, it's a pretty big secret stash. Uh, so I'm going to be doing. In, there's three themes, I guess you could call it, uh, but they're all. Yeah, you'll see. What I have been doing, as you know, if you watch my uh, video from way back last summer, where I was trying to run my uh, Hornby tanks around a oval track and the track. Oh. Another thing. The oval track, it uh, turns out the, my track is in really bad shape and it's quite old. Um, so I'm, I want to kind of make an oval so I can test some of this stuff and show these things running. I haven't done that yet. Uh, just been sort of like humming and hawing about that. However, um, that doesn't stop from buying things uh, when they come available on eBay. Not that I buy a lot. Well, that may be disproven over the course of these videos. Uh, but there's some stuff I've always wanted or <coughs> And I uh, go, oh, now that I have some money, I can buy this. <laughs> All right, so the first thing. This has been sitting around for a year, and I know that's kind of probably burning out a bit there. But we're going to open this up for the very first time on camera. So this is actually thematically, um, what is this about? Well, we'll talk about it later. So it's an express post. How do I open this up? Let me start with that. Seat. Well, I guess it's too late to return it now. Icing. It's so interesting what these papers are in. This is from 2020. It's the Daily Mail from Britain. <laughs> How long do people keep stuff? Oh, it's got a box. Whoa. This is well padded. Look at that. It's nice. All right. Got this black. Black. It's been reused and perhaps has been used. Uh, in a basement somewhere, trudging by the cobwebs. I should talk. You should see my ceiling. All right, let's open this guy up. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Nice box, though. I don't think it's that good a locomotive, my fellow. Shh. I think it's a locomotive, by the way. Let's open that up. And here we go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> send a paper towel. <laughs> All right, this is something I would do. Um, dude, dude, oh wow. Oh, shoot, okay. Oh, <gasps> look at that. It's, it's not bad shape, actually. Better than I thought. Um, so here we have the uh, Triang. I think this is an R55. And I'm going to make a mistake saying that, um, but this is uh, trying R55 uh, F9 unit in a Canadian Pacific colors. And actually, this is a lot better than I recall it looking. Uh, it's quite a nice looking one. I've always enjoyed the. Um, um, I always loved this livery of, of uh, CPR. The, the when they switched in 1970 to the drumhead logo and the red locomotives and the thin red box cars, and then they had. You can do the yellow uh, cabooses, but also green refrigerator cars or green something else. I think the, no, the refrigerator cars are silver, and then there's something else. This this candy color stuff, and it's okay. Except I never thought the shades were quite right, and the, the logo, the drumhead logo. I think it's called the drumhead logo. I never caught on with me, and it, it, because it took ten years to uh, uh, come up with a response to CN's uh, redesign, rebranding. Um, it's just like something like they sat around the boardroom going. I know colors. You know, if you work for a business, you 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 have heard that. You've been through those kinds of meetings. Now this guy's a bit dusty, and I'm not actually going to open it up, but it does look. That looks pretty wonky. <laughs> Let's go to my uh, road switcher, which is not working, and just compare. It's. Uh, I don't know. It's getting too. But this is actually an older. Um, you can see this a bit older because this has the. Uh, 
knurled wheels, I guess to give it a bit more traction. You can see how worn mine are. And you can see, of course, uh, to, to make sure that the, oops, fluff, uh, to make sure that the, um, you know, to, to reduce costs, uh, they're based, they're the same chassis, right? Which explains why the road switcher's uh, proportions are a bit off. But that's okay, it is a nice looking model. So we'll go over here. Oh, now the one thing which is good about this model is that it's got that, the pilot. And uh, these things are like gold. Oh, <laughs> they fall off really easily. And that one just seems to be held on by two pins. Uh, so that's one thing. It doesn't have the back one. And as you can see back here with my road switcher, it's lost both of them. I swear, I, I swear they still had one when I put it away in its storage unit. Uh, it might be at the bottom of the case it was in, which I haven't gone through yet, but we'll get there at some point. So this is a very nice looking model. Uh, it is dusty though, and will require a clean. It looks like it has that, ugh, that kind of like goopy feeling dust that's been around is like. So yeah, this is my theme here is the Canadian Pacific old style livery from the, up until 1970. And I, I do find this is a very um, attractive livery. So. Is there anything else I got here? Let's see. Oh, let's open this guy here. I'll get rid of that. Review you in a moment. Um, I'll get rid of um, this. That's a nice box. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this, uh, th this opening is that uh, um, I have a lot of boxes and they're taking up too much space. So let's see what's in this one. I have a good idea. This is from the States. Um, It wants to overheat. So, oh, again, interesting. The, the, this is really nicely um, packed with stuff. We're gonna take these out. So, look at that paper. They did a nice job there. Let's see what this is from. Uh, this is uh, the Washington Post. I guess the guy came from Washington. 2022. So. I bought this last year and that was uh, the date I bought it on, so they weren't hoarding their newspapers. We'll put those back. Yeah. Might want to, oh, ooh, there was a reveal. All right, let's open this up, let's open this up. Blah, blah. Okay, so. What have we got? Do, do, do. We have, of course, with that and that we have the passenger cars, it'll start to go with this guy. So let's open this up. Uh, so this is the... <laughs> so this is the uh, CPR. It's got different... Um, this is the dining car, and this is the baggage car. Uh, the neat, the interesting thing about these uh, Trying Hornby um, uh, passenger Canadian uh, passenger cars is that you can always get a baggage car because if you think about it, in their sets, they had a, a baggage car, a dining car, uh, I think a regular passenger car, and the observation car, and that's how the sets came. So it was like a one car for each thing. And uh, and then when they sold them, they probably just made the same number. So they you know make a hundred of these, they make a hundred of these kind of thing. So it's really. But if you're making a passenger set train set, you want more passenger cars. You don't. You only need one baggage car. So that's why you can get baggage cars no problem. So let's open this up. There's actually a number here. <laughs> I wonder what that's from. But this this baggage car. This is the R four four two CPR baggage car. How it should come. Okay, now this one, as I suspect. There we go. Oh, wow. Well. Now, this is this rather weird. Now, this one's an oddball. This isn't re wheeled. This is re wheeled. Those are nice wheels. Now, I don't know what. Okay, so. Alright. Let's get this guy open. We'll compare the two. 
What? That is stuck to it. Okay. So it's a passenger car. This is the dining car. Open up. Yeah. That's a very faded box. There we go. There we go. No, not bad. There we go. Maybe not. Maybe the wheels are like that. What about these plastic wheels? They're very nice though. Uh, so yeah, look at that. Now, if you look in here, you can see the tables. I think in the other ones, the uh, oh, there we go, uh, the transcontinentals um, sets and other sets, they have little lights on the tables. Like, they're not real lights, but they're like lamps. There you go. And that can take off. Uh, very nice. Now this guy is your baggage car. Uh, this has to be realigned. You can see that. Uh, that's pretty good. And you can... Oh, look at that. It has been rewheeled. Now this is interesting. So, um... That's interesting. These cars of this vintage were all had their um, bogies riveted on. Uh, so that you can't really take them off. But this guy, which has the, I love to know what what uh, coupler that is, has been has had the triangle coupler taken off, and this coupler added, and then they've taken the bogey off and they've replaced it with a screw. That's interesting. I know there's a uh, um, somebody can buy parts we can actually replace the uh, the rivets, but they're not quite as good as the old rivets. Still, yeah, look at that. They've done something weird to this. Oh, okay, so what's happened? Right, so that, oh, okay, there, look at that. So here, there's a bit of a piece missing, I guess probably to make it work with this hit, this coupler. I mean, that's just missing. That sort of finishes off, so I guess it's a 3D printing project. So we got that. Now, if you look at this too, before we move on, because there's some more, they actually print, made these in two colors, so this kind of gray color light gray color and this darker gray which I think emulates the uh, stainless steel better than this uh, but that's so that's probably an older one as you can probably guess with the neural wheels so pop it over here that now this is part of my goal was to get create a train set uh, of the um, of the CPR in a passenger uh, with the old livery you can get the new ones actually they're not common but as far as this goes you can get the uh, the 70s up until you know the uh, 1970 to 75 uh, livery of CPR um, passenger cars and, and locos uh, F9 locos, but the um, but after 75, well, of course the stock ran out because they stopped in 73 uh, making them, and uh, and then in 76, the Via is all nationalized to Via Rail in Canada. So what have we got? Uh, I got this one. I got this one. I got that. Okay. Oh my gosh. I got this box. Ah! This is this is gonna be the worst one. Right, so I've got in here. Oh, more stuff. Wait, what do I got? I should have one, two, three, and four. Let's see, what we got here. We got that one. Got that one. And I got this one. Oh, you're right. I only have three. And I got uh, what's that? Just some, <laughs> just random plastic. Mmm, look at that. <laughs> this is just a piece of random plastic. <laughs> Throw it in here. Oh, look. They shop at Dollarama. And uh, this is uh, for wrapping your it's protective wrap. Oh, well, interesting. I've never seen that. Being a Dollarama customer myself. All right, take a look. Uh, let's take a look at this guy. Here we go. Now, oh dear. Here is, oh, I see what's gone wrong here. <laughs> so this is a, uh, the observation car. And I just realized looking at this, this has the, this is kind of a discolored, but it's, it's a, it's a, it's a Frankenstein car. It's got a roof, which is from this era. And it's got this side. I wonder if you can, uh, I wonder if that can be fixed. Uh, oh, and then here we go. Look, all right, these were rewheeled. Look at that. Check that out. So there is the original wheels. Look how big those wheels are. Oh, they're nice wheels. So this is rewheeled. That make. Hold on. Uh, it does raise. Hold on. Well, they're, they're about the same. I mean, they'll work. 
and they do function. But man, that is, those are huge. How do you fix that? How do you even get that off? <laughs> oh, well, we're on that one. What else we got? Obviously the same motor. Oh, I just realized, look at that too. Not quite as not quite as distinct, but this is a different color than that, uh, other than the roof. So maybe it's just um, a function of the manufacturing. All right, let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. Oh look, another baggage car. Now I wonder if this can be this discoloration can be fixed. I bet you could. I bet you. Bet you I could repaint that. Just mask that out. Take it apart. The roof will come off. And take that out, and then just mask the uh, lining. But still, here goes that. Now that I'm looking at this, I kind of understand what's going on. And then we have this one. Ah, there we go. So from this, there we go. And here is the standard passenger car. So we can see the seats in there. So the seat. So this would make up a car like, I don't know, something like that. That one, your dining car here. Yeah. Except for that weird, those weird wheels. <laughs> Still, that's pretty cool. And again, notice how I have two baggage cars because the baggage cars are really easy to get. Um, oh, well then I can. Oh, well, you know what? This needs a clean up because I can see that this has got. I can actually feel the goop on that. Mm, goop. This actually looks almost like it's been uh, uh, exposed to sunlight or something, but uh, I think that's just the color of the plastic after 50 years. I bet that could be repainted. It'd be interesting to try. Anywho, so to match to match that one, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I guess if you can match the roof color, or at least bring it down to that, I think that'll work pretty good. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, that is my preview. Wait, hold on. Is there anything else in this section? Okay, so I'm back. So here we have the F9 unit and the passenger cars, which will need a little bit of a TLC. You can see these guys are very shaped from these guys, but with the uh, I guess with the advent of um, laser printing, you can make your own uh, labels, and that'll be fine. Uh, and that's a very strange color. Anyways, so we got one more thing from this batch. This is my theme here is old Canadian Pacific trying Hornby. And um, I've done pretty good. I'm actually quite pleased with these. So let's move on to, we got this one, but I've got something else here. I got this box. I'm going to push this up here. So I've got this box and uh, this is part of the same thing, although not as successful. So we'll go here. Ah, there we go. So, one thing which is very difficult to get is, well, I'll get the my version. I've shown this before, and it's still not been repaired. There we go. Well, here's the motor to it. So we have the CPR Pacific. It's actually, this has the grizzly uh, tender, and it's the list of the last version of, um, of this, I think it's there you go. Uh, but uh, you can get this in a actual, so there's actually three versions of this. There's the, uh, this is the, I think a G3 Pacific or based on a G3 Pacific, but it's uh, built on top of the Princess chassis. Um, there's the Hiawatha version, uh, which has uh, this locomotive and it has the CPR style tender. Uh, and then there is this version, uh, which they put the Gresley tender on it to give the chug chug sound. And uh, and this generic number in the Hiawatha generic number two, um, and then the name tag Hiawatha. But in between the two, for only one year, one year, was a properly liveried CPR uh, version of this. And so I want to get that. And it's been they're difficult to get. I mean, these these things, this thing, is hard to get. And the other one, uh, the other one, which is hard, the road switcher in this livery is insane. I've never seen one for sale. But the big difference is the tender. So I got this. Let's take that out here. 
and the broken motor. There we go. And there we have the CPR tender. And if we put that here, now, unfortunately, because it, it's in nicely uh, done, and so I put that. Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, when they change styles, uh, they change how they couple the tender to the locomotive. But, you know, these little things are sent to try us. Uh, it's just weird that I can only get the tender. So my plan was to, my, is, is to um, kind of look, keep on the lookout for another one of these uh, and then um, modify it to accept the tender. Um, but they're kind of hard to get, to be honest. The whole, even even these one of the grassy tenders, and the high wathes and salads are quite difficult to get. But we'll get there. So anyways, let's bring this back down here. All right, so the next step is to test this locomotive. Here we go, this is the F9 unit. I purchased this one in 2022. Came from Britain. Uh, in better shape than I thought it was. Uh, it was hard to tell in the uh, photographs on eBay. And I think it's probably in better shape than the other one I just purchased. Uh, oh wait, hold on. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay, here we go. So let's see what happens. It may or may not work. Oh, maybe I should close that down a little bit. That's better, I think. Uh, six four. Okay, ready. Well, the light comes on. Now oh, she's got. This is quite loose, isn't it? Okay. Well, that. We'll have to take a look inside that. That's well, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But still, where there's light, there's life, I guess. Oh look, when that light comes on, uh, that side marker light comes on. The number plate light. That's kind of nice. Um, although it doesn't really show much. All right, so we're gonna take a look at that one from above. Oh, hold on. Let's take this off. Interesting. Let's pop you on there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, uh, no Gibby. Yeah, we'll take a look closer look at that one from above. Okay. Now, looking at this guy. I mean, the coil, it, again, it looks dirty. It needs a really good clean, to be honest. I wonder if... Uh, I think it needs a... It needs a refurbishment, to be honest. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there you go. That's the problem right there. Is that broken? So what's happened is that... Uh, connector, and I'm not going to zoom in which should go around it. This is kind of the same problem I have with the uh, Pacific, which is sitting beside my, my own Pacific. So, can I take it apart <laughs> and not destroy this? Let's find out. Why is that so difficult? There we go. that okay I see all right so yeah that solder is broken that runs the light I think yeah it does okay but that can be refixed but it's this thing that's killing me here yeah I am don't think I'm gonna complete this tonight I do not have the eyesight at the moment uh, to carefully take that apart. Oh, I guess I could take... See that? Oh, there you go. That's my spring. Okay. <laughs> well, the brush just fell out. Okay. 
Alright, I'm good. fell out. Okay, I think I'm going to quit for the night. Um, so that seems to be it. We have a disconnected uh, thing here, and I can see the brush just floating around in there. So anyways, um, we'll have to get that rigged out um, and repaired. So I think we're done pretty good. Uh, so unfortunately I can't get this one to work tonight. Um, I really just can't pull it together to get that uh, brush back into place. Um, but yeah, so good. Anyway, so thanks very much for watching. Um, sorry we couldn't get this guy running. Uh, but we do know it does accept electricity because its light bulb came on. Was this the one the light bulb came on? Yeah, it is. Uh, so yeah, there you go. So anyways, thanks very much. Uh, we'll see you next time. Then I promise, <laughs> cross my heart, uh, that there'll be more videos coming sooner and quicker and more often than they have been in the past. That's until I fall apart again. Anyways, so take care. Thank you. Have a good night. And don't forget to subscribe.